itself. It's time to talk about Russell Wilson. He's having a career year, a league-leading 19 touchdown passes. He is the reason why the Seahawks are a perfect 5-0, their best start in team history. But Russ has never received an MVP vote. He is the current frontrunner, however, and he made his thought very clear yesterday, saying, quote, I don't really want a vote. I want to be able to win the whole thing. Mm. I hear you, Russ, mm. say it with your chest. <laughs> but Marcellus, we going to say it too. You, what are you doing? My goodies. What are you? What, you what, say what it with your chest, it? and then my goodies came on in my head. Oh, sorry. My, Sierra. Sierra's my yeah. goodies? And that's what you was doing to say? You don't remember that? <laughs> <laughs> don't go out with me. Man, ever. Marcellus, quit <laughs> dancing and give me the real. Okay. Do you, uh, do you think that Russell Wilson is too concerned with winning MVP? No. He's not too concerned with it. Uh, House way. Like, I'm just answering a question. Y'all asked me about being snubbed in the past. Context matters. Yep. And he answered that. He answered it brilliantly, actually, talking about, oh, you know what? I don't want just a vote. <laughs> I want to win it off. We're going to do it. Let's do the damn thing. And that's what I want from Russell Wilson. I want from any competitor. The best version of you is the best for our team. <laughs> You know, the best version of me is the best for us, Acho, as we speak for yourself, as we do this show. You know what I'm saying? How can now me maximizing my abilities, my talents, my production, turn into a bad thing? Because if you think about it, there are no bad teams that an MVP will come from. You're guaranteed success if you're an MVP. Don't believe me. Don't believe me. I see your face over there. Point. Full screen time, most point. valuable winners. And none of these guys are bad players. And more importantly, <laughs> none of them are bad losing teams. Detroit Lions is close, though, damn it. <laughs> You're lucky you had Barry Sanders. Uh, but if you look at it all the way through everywhere else, 10 and 6 is 11 and 5s, and then some shortened seasons because of injury, but still winning. That's the point. Russell Wilson is keeping in mind winning as he's driving through an MVP championship and title. Those two things go together for Russell Wilson. I think you were mostly right. Let me tell you what's really going on here. Uh, I think Russell Wilson, again, having a little PTSD. What do I mean? 2015, Russell Wilson, he thought he should have won MVP. Here's why. Let's look at the 2015 MVP race. Damn. Russell Wilson loses to Super Cam at that Damn. time. Uh, Cam Newton shows up, but Russ has more passing yards. Russ had a higher completion percentage significantly. Russ had one less touchdown, but less interceptions. The difference, obviously, Cam got him in rushing touchdowns. Cam's team was 15 and run. Russ's was 10 and 6. Mm. Russ is like, yo, I should have at least got a vote that year. I get you. At that. least one vote. I so know. now, Marcellus, Russ is like, uh oh, hold on now. Is the same thing about to happen? Look at Russ and Rodgers. Let's look at that full screen. Russell Wilson realizes, I got to start campaigning because Rodgers is matching me in passing yards. He's matching me in completion <laughs> percentage. He's down on touchdowns, but the Packers have played one less game. He's matching me in passer rating. He's seeing it, and he's like, this is too close. I must start campaigning. But here's my fear, and here's where I got to poke back on you. Let me hear. Don't you think there comes a point where Russ's individual success can be as a detriment to the team. Why well, I asked you that? Uh. I'm sure you played with some pass rushers, Marcel. This is why I like talking to you. You played a game, you played it well. You played with some pass rushers that are like, I gotta go get me a sack. E -E. I gotta go get me a e -E. sack. E -E. And when they do that, they run up the field and they get burned by the draw. Mm. Or they go inside on a pass rush, mm. pass rush move and they give up contain. Mm. Hint, J.J. Watt does this a lot for the Texans. Watch the tape. Oh. You got guys that are like, man, I gotta go make a play and in making a play, they sabotage the defense. I'm not saying Russ is going to do that, but I'm a little concerned about that happening. How are you not? I'm not, because if anybody has it in their mindset that they even think they could be MVP, I am pouring gas on that flame. He's taking MVP Boulevard on the way to Super Bowl Street. That's, how, that's his journey. He's like, all right, I'm going to ride this MVP, and then guess what? Pay dirt. Team success, ultimate championship. He's not going to rob them because it's a little different when you're playing quarterback and you're thinking, man, I need to pad my stats. Let me throw another touchdown. Yeah, yeah, please do it. Throw another <laughs> touchdown. Oh, man, you know what I should do? Man, I should take off and run, extend this play, and then uh, run into the end zone. Yeah, 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 you actually should do this. Like, I don't see anything that, if you want to say he mashes the gas, goes a little too hard, how it could come back to bite them. So this is a Russell Wilson who has been snubbed. Mm -hmm. As you talk about, those three years where he really had a chance, it was 2015, 
Then it was Patrick Mahomes' year, yep. and it was Lamar, Lamar Jackson's Jackson year. Yep. Like, he's losing to historic campaigns from one other guy. So right now, as I told you a couple weeks ago, I think Aaron Rodgers has the greater chance of winning this because Aaron Rodgers will not relent. He will not let up. And Russell Wilson has a way of finding a plateau and peaking a little too early in these conversations. So all that said, this doesn't hurt us as a team. Russell Wilson playing amazing is the only thing we can do. Why? Our defense is on pace to give up the most yards in NFL history. They're going to need MVP Russ to even keep pace. Here is where I'm concerned, and it's because I'm a pessimist, I'll admit it. I like Let Russ Cook, but if I am in that locker room, not even if I'm in the locker room, if I am just watching, if I'm a fan, if I'm in the, the vicinity of it, I'm all like, when have we ever heard it, an MVP have to campaign this much? There's kind of a saying, if you have to tell me, maybe it doesn't really exist. Mm. Like, mm. why is Russ saying it? so much to the point where it's like, yo, what's, what's really good? You're not walking down the street like, yeah, I host speak for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm that host, I'm that guy. Yeah. No, it's like, if I have to say it to you, if I have to tell you how good I am, what's the problem? Right. There's, a, there's something where I'm like, ah, there's, there's something a little strange here. No, I'm not there. And look, one, it's not a monologue. He didn't go up there, <laughs> I've been snubbed. <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> Let me cook. He didn't do that. In, in the conversation with Russell Wilson, right now, you can't poke holes in this game. You can't poke holes in this team, at least offensively you can't. And then you have to have a conversation that's grander. Russell Wilson, you're here again. This is the fourth time we've seen you as an MVP candidate front runner. But you're 0-3. Kind of how Steve Young felt once he got his opportunity to finally win the Super Bowl. He said, the gorilla's off my back. Why? Because every conversation before then was like, hey, Montana was doing it. When are you going to do it? And he finally got that opportunity and succeeded. I think this is all we're really going through, is that the conversation is so much about what Russell Wilson hasn't done in this MVP mm -hmm. consideration. But finally, it looks like he's going to do it. Will he finally overcome it? Before we get to break, don't forget, there's a special million-dollar free-to-play Super 6 contest this week. All you have to do is correctly predict the outcome of six NFL games. So make sure you get your picks in before kickoff Sunday for your chance to be a millionaire. Gotcha. And for top <laughs> stories, scores, and more, go to the Fox Sports app. Oh, God. Not Coming again. up in our big not story. Again. You better stop messing with Big Usher. It sounds like Jerry Jones wants Dak Prescott in Dallas for a long time. Does it? Well, we'll tell you if we're buying. He's the quarterback of the future. Next, speak for yourself. Stop doubting now.